There are some ancient mysterious places and structure present on our Earth, some of which have been understood with the help of modern technology, but some are still beyond the understanding of scientists and archaeologists. In the previous video, we had made a video about the pyramid in which we had told how 4,500 years ago, people living in Egypt built the pyramid with the help of such heavy and huge stones. If you have not seen that video, then you can watch it by clicking on the I button. In this video, we will see some such structures made by humans and nature around the world, which even scientists and archaeologists have not been able to understand till now. In this video, we will discuss these 10 topics, so let us begin. Number 1. La Jungfrun Haunted Island Sweden There is a small island 13 kilometers away from the coast of Sweden. It is called La Jungfrun Island. Many scary stories are told about this island. According to people, there is an unseen force present here which does not like to see humans. Such rows of stones have been seen on this island, which are very strange in appearance. According to people, some kind of ritual must have been performed here in ancient times. In the year 2014, a team of archaeological survey came here for research. Here they found a stage made of stones. Looking at it, it seems that earlier some program used to be held here, or some special person might have addressed the people from here. Apart from this, a stone table was also found here, on which seashell bones and wood ashes were also found. When carbon dating of all these was done, it was found that they are 9,000 years old. But what kind of human civilization lived here is still not clear. Number 2 ancient clock. In the 18th century, the world's oldest clock was found buried in volcanic ash in the city of Herculaneum in ancient Rome. The city of Herculaneum was destroyed by the devastating eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. It is a portable sundial which was used to keep track of time in ancient times. To understand this watch, see this 3D model. First of all, this clock is hung this is the dial of the clock, and this is the hand of the clock, and the fasts made in it indicate half an hour. When the sun was on its left side, the shadow of this thorn used to fall here, which means it is nine in the morning. And at noon, when the sun rises directly above it, its shadow falls on this fast, which means it is 12 o'clock in the day. After this, its direction has to be changed to see the time. It tells time only during the day. That's why it is called a portable sundial. Operating this watch is a very difficult task. According to experts, it was important for the people of that time to know how much time is left for sunset. But the question is why only one sundial was found in such a big city. Number three, Stonehenge, United Kingdom. Stonehenge is an ancient and mysterious rock site. It has been located in the United Kingdom, England for many years. It is considered a World Heritage Site and a major tourist destination in England. According to archaeologists, Stonehenge was built between 3000 BC and 2000 BC. The structure is located in a large square area with tall pillars, underground rocks and 12 precincts. According to some archaeologists, it may have been made to show the position of sunrise and sunset. Apart from this, some people also associate Stonehenge with the solar system, and they believe that it may have been built to learn about the movement of the sun and the seasons. What the actual use of Stonehenge was is still unclear, but experts believe it was religious and worship related. Or maybe some religious rituals are performed here. Apart from this, the actual purpose of Stonehenge and the process of construction are not completely clear till now, due to which it is considered a mysterious site. And the question in people's mind is how so many stones would have been brought and how they would have been kept one above the other. Apart from Stonehenge, there are many mysterious sites in the United Kingdom which remain a challenge for experts. Among these, Averbury Circle and Cornwall Stones are at number one. Number 4. Gobekli Tepe, Turkey Gobekli Tepe is an ancient and mysterious site. 
It is located in the Gap Tepe Hills of Turkey. It is considered the oldest in archaeological history and has been recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. It was found buried in the ground while farming in the year 1994. After this, it was taken out. Gobekli Tepe is believed to have been constructed between 9,600 BCE and 7,300 BCE after the last ice age. It has been decorated like a big museum area for tourists. Various land animals and megalithic pillars are present in this museum. The main site was excavated in which painted pillars containing various animal and human forms were found. How Gobekli Tepe would have been built at that time remains a mystery because it is very difficult and challenging to build a structure like this with the technologies of that time and the number of pillars used in it is an astonishing number. Its actual purpose is not yet clear, but experts are considering it as a religious or worship place. Number five, Humapunku, Bolivia. Humapunku is located in the La Paz province of Tiwani City in Bolivia. This is a strange archeological site. According to archaeologists, it must have been built between 500 BCE and 600 CE. Many important mysterious things are present in it. There are unique pillars and stone structures here. There are some holes in these pillars which looks like it might be an interlocking system. In my view, this was the best engineering of that time. The stones used to build Pumapunku are called Istalite stones and were brought from a distance of, at most, 10 miles. It is not yet clear whether Pumapunku was used for religious or socio-cultural purposes, and its structure also remains a matter of debate for archaeologists. Number 6. The Baalbek Trilithon The Baalbek Trilithon is located in Baalbek Banador, Lebanon. Baalbek is a major tourist destination. It is known for its ancient history and Roman architecture, it has three big stones in which the total weight of one stone is more than 800 tons. The dimensions of each stone are approximately 63 feet length, 14 feet height, and 10 feet width. Baalbek is an important Roman ruin site with a large temple built to the god Jupiter. According to archaeologists, Baalbek may have been built during the Roman imperial period around the first century. The stones used to build this structure were brought from a distance of one kilometer. The question of how such big stones would have been brought here and how they would have been installed still remains a mystery. Number seven, the Antikythera mechanism, Greece. It looks like a steering wheel that controls a ship, but according to archeologists, it must have been made for a special purpose. According to archeologists, the Antikythera mechanism was used as an ancient Greek device designed to calculate time and determine the position of the constellations. And archaeologists believe that it was designed to calculate time and it could also show the solar system, monthly position, and other astronomical parameters. This artifact was discovered in 1901 from a shipwreck during sea excavations off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. It is built like today's modern watches. It has gears, slots, and other mechanisms exactly like today's modern watches. The ancient people of that time must have used it for time calculation and astronomical calculations. Archaeologists estimate the device to be from around the first century, and it contained a date sheet of 223 eras, giving it dates back to April 205 BC. The technology used in making this mechanism was very advanced technology at that time. Therefore, there remains a mystery regarding the period of its construction, and the date sheet found in it accurately predicted the 12 eras of the world, which is challenging for modern scientists. Number eight, Teotihuacan, Mexico. Teotihuacan, Mexico is an ancient city. The word Teotihuacan is derived from the Nahuatl language, which means the place where the gods scattered the stars. Teotihuacan is considered the main center of the Aztec civilization. This city was built by the Aztec emperors to create rural and urban areas. At that time, there were the Pyramid of the Federation. 
Pyramid of the Sun, Pyramid of the Moon, and Pyramid of the Queen, Mesoamerican stupas, and marketplaces. Apart from this, there was also Sun and Moon Plaza from where the entire city could be seen. Some mysteries of Teotihuacan have been solved, but the technology of its construction and its use are still not clear. Number 9. Easter Island Statues, Chile. This structure is located on Easter Island located in the Pacific Ocean. It is called Moai. A total of 900 Moai are present here. The word Moai is derived from Rapa Nui, the local language of Easter Island, meaning to stand on the western ground or to stand still. All the Moai are looking towards the sky in one direction and some weight has been placed on their heads. According to experts, it was built between 13th to 16th century, but this is not completely clear. Apart from this, looking at its height, a question comes to mind that how such big and heavy stones would have been brought, how they would have been shaped, and how they would have been erected. The stones used to build it were brought from the northeastern parts of Easter Island, which includes Punapuo and Ranu Raraku stones. Number 10. Mohenjo-daro, India-Pakistan border. Mohenjo-daro is located in Sindh province, Pakistan, a few kilometers from the India-Pakistan border. People used to live here once upon a time. It is called Indus Valley Civilization. This was the most developed civilization of that time. The houses here are constructed with mud bricks. In this picture, you can see that big houses are built here and the houses also have courtyards. Good arrangements have been made for drainage of water here. Today's technology is also spread in front of this. Based on the evidence found here, experts believe that life must have been very happy here. The language written on the remains found by archaeologists in the Indus civilization has not yet been understood. Apart from this, there is no information about his lifestyle. Mohenjo-daro is said to be around 2600 to 1900 BC, that is around 4000 to 4500 years ago, but according to new research, it is a seven to eight thousand years old civilization. We will understand this in detail in the next video in the form of a documentary because this is a very big topic. That's all in this video. In the next video, we will meet with some new information. Many, many thanks.